everyone. Working with some basic alcoholic techniques. Today we're playing with circles. Not the kind of circles you're thinking of, but more of a blending tool. So hang on tight. Hey everyone. Okay. I've gotten several requests to do some alcoholic basic videos. So I thought I would do this one on circles. And what I mean by circles is not what you're thinking of like little dots. It's actually a way to dry it so it creates this circular effect and you create several rings. So this is what we're gonna start off with, these two colors. And I'm just gonna continue on with this piece over here that I started, but I'm gonna work here. But what I wanted to do is I'm gonna back up a little bit and talk to you a little bit about, more about what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm going to be using uh, my heat iron here. Uh, that's that guy. And I'll put the link on the bottom of this video. But what I'll do is, let's just say, oh, see this little dot here? Let's just pretend. Okay. So I've got a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of color here. But I'm going to have the iron be fairly high up. And the reason for that on this particular one is because it blows rather strong. Some of them, with them being, um, let's just say the air doesn't come out as strong, you can get a little bit closer. But what I am going to say is this much. Okay, so this is the nozzle, and I'm going to be moving it around, but I'm going to be moving it around like in a circle here. So I'm corralling the alcohol, and the alcohol will blend with the color. And I'm going to be moving it around like this, so it's going to be constantly, you'll see it constantly swirling around. And that's me going, hey, you know, think about those Australian sheepdogs. You know how they corral the, the sheep in the middle? So that's what I'm going to be kind of doing. And I might even come in a little closer and a little closer to the area. But that's basically the premise of it. And I started getting a little bit of that effect here. So it kind of, you can see a couple different lines going on here. And however you work it out, it can be where you have multiple lines or not, or it's just a nice, soft, smooth circle kind of a zone there. So that's, that's basically the premise, but I'm gonna have the camera focused in here so you can see the alcohol and also the, um, the ink itself within that solution and how it's moving around. And I'm gonna use a bright uh, magenta color so it'll be really clear about what's going on. And I might be using Copic as well, this guy. I didn't use it the last one. But um, that way there's some kind of contrast because this is a very light colored versus a very strong color here. So hopefully that'll show up in the video well. So anyway, let's go ahead and set it up over here. And then get that up. It's a little closer. Okay, bring it back down. Sorry about all that. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna apply a bunch of color, or, or uh, let me try this again. A bunch of alcohol in the beginning to the bottom. Paper, words work, come on. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my pinata ink and we're gonna do a couple drops right in the middle. Now these are the pinata colors are real intense colors. I love them. All right, here we go. Now I've got to put mine on the low setting. Not a high setting, but a low setting. Remember, I'm gonna go around in a circular pattern. Actually, first I think I'm gonna move the color around a bit just so I have a large area. Okay, here we go.
he kisses the edges just a little bit. Reactivates and then goes back towards the center. And that's that push and pull, but in this time I'm going circular. So it slowly but surely is evaporating. This is when it's fairly dramatic when it dries. It dries almost a completely different color. Get you out of this thing. Bring you in here. Okay, so this is putting a couple drips down into the alcohol. So it did do a large amount of really solid color. But you see there how the blend is really nice and soft in there. You got a lot of little lines going on. I mean, you can see them going from fairly faint to a medium tone, really dark, and then slightly, slightly, slightly. A little bit less so that's one way of manipulating by moving the air around I wanted to do something dramatic so that you can really see how that is and it's fairly smooth so there's only one ridge in, in here that's kind of like a little bumpy in there and to me that doesn't bother me at all but that gives you basically the idea all right I'm gonna do another one over here uh, with less war I'm sorry less color so that you can see it really moving around with, within the alcohol. Maybe that will help. Put you back in here. Let's try the lavender this time. I'm gonna do just one drop. That didn't work quite how I wanted it to. The camera actually got in the way of my iron. So let's try this again. I'm gonna move back a little bit, angle up the camera, see if I can get, give me some more working space. And I think I'm gonna use the uh, magenta again too, because that pale, um, Lavender is just too dark to see on camera. All right, there's that. One drop. Let me double check camera. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Okay.
little bit of a dance. The dancing with the alcohol and the tension. So we're moving it around, swelling it. And it slowly evaporates. You change your angle of the iron just a little bit, and you can move it towards where it's evaporating more in the center. Cheers. Okay. I'm going to put in a little bit more alcohol ink over here on the side, see if I can pull out some of it. Get back. There we go. So again, I'm going in a circular pattern, bringing it in, bringing it out. Pushing it upright. Closer. Well, it looks like a purple blob from here. That's not good. Okay. Here we go. So that's the area that I did first. Huh. I'm trying to point on it on camera is tough. Okay, so that's the area I did first. So it's really saturated color. Then I added alcohol and it softened the color a bit. And you can see that the alcohol, like plain, went way up in here. So it grabbed even just tiny, tiny bit of that ink and moved it up but you get the nice soft blends in here and down in there a little bit and I could keep on doing this and extend out this color especially this these pin, uh, pinata colors are very saturated I could really keep going and going and going with it with a blend in fact why don't I do that just a little bit more and then you get an idea So you could do this for uh, petal shapes, um, abstract patterns. You can even introduce maybe a little bit of alcohol with um, a gold in it. Whoops. Sorry about that. circular pattern I'm still going around the perimeter of the, whatever the shape is that I'm using or I'm manipulating and if you want to push your color more that way all you gotta do is angle, I need to zoom out, sorry. If you wanna push your color more that way, all you gotta do is angle your, um, your air source to go that direction. And you saw right at the end, I changed my angle and I went like this and it started pushing it and that's why I got the little tendril right there. Started pushing it that way. So instead of having my circular area right here, all of a sudden I'm pushing it away so it got lighter and lighter. So I could keep on doing that and keep doing that, you know, and, and get the color to really go and extend out. So that's one way of working with a circular pattern 
and lightening up or even darkening up or introducing a new color. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to get another color that is... I'll do the pinata purple and add it to this a little puddle of that and drop. Now it's kind of close and it really aggressively started moving around and so all I knew is I need, needed to back up a little bit so that I have more control. I'm pushing it towards the purple. I'm pushing it towards the pink. dramatically showed the lines that I'm talking about. You don't have to create lines. It's just showing the pattern where I was moving the air around. So over in here, pure purple. And then this is starting to mix in with the pink a little bit. And then lighting it up. It's still a little pink introduced, but mostly this mixture here lighting, lightening up with the alcohol. So you can see definitely little ripples coming out. So that's how you work in a circular pattern to help manipulate your colors. Can be fun. And using that in combination with those techniques, who knows the possibilities? All right, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, but more importantly, hit that bell. Get notified next time I put a video up. And look at the end of the video and I'll put in a picture of the colors I use in my video too. So, later.